Hello everyone. In this short tutorial I would like to show you how to use Affinity Photo on the iPad to create custom LUTs for color correction in LumaFusion. The app recently received some additional color correction features, but they are still pretty basic and if you want to go deeper, uh, luckily you can use LUTs for advanced color correction. And in this tutorial I would like to show you how to create a custom LUT from Affinity Photo to use in LumaFusion. I have created a short project and the first thing you want to do is export a still image of the clip you're trying to color correct. So in the top right corner you click on the export button and then that opens up a menu and you click on snapshot and you save that snapshot to your camera roll. Then you switch over to Affinity Photo and load the just created image into it. The important thing now is that you can only use adjustment layers for your color correction. So now we are just going to do some basic color correction. We click on the adjustment layer icon on the right that opens up our possible adjustments and we start with the brightness and contrast and we just bring up the contrast and a bit of brightness. That's okay. And now we're going to do a bit of hue saturation and luminosity. So we look for HSL adjust and we just bring up the saturation a little bit. If you switch to the layers menu, you can see that we now have created two adjustment layers and they are on top of the background layer. We can add another adjustment and go for some curves in this case and just do some basic curve editing. And now we have all the big and great features at hand that LumaFusion lacks so far and we can really go deep into tonal editing here. Another important thing is that we can only use layers, adjustment layers, and they cannot be grouped. So they have to be plain simple here in the layer menu. If I switch off the layers you can see the difference and the last thing to do is we have to export the LUT. So we click on the in the top left corner on the file menu and then click on export LUT. We give it just a sample title and for LumaFusion um, the cube format works quite well and you can adjust the quality. Um, at 64 the file size will probably be around 7 megabytes. Then just save the file to the iPad or iCloud Drive and then we have to switch over again to LumaFusion. Double tap the clip we want to edit and then press in the bottom on the FX button and in the top right corner we click on the LUT menu and then we can press the import button and import our saved cube file. There it is. And once we import it, it gets automatically applied to the clip and we can see the difference in tonal and in color. Alright, that's it for now. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you for watching.